Vapors, Every Vapor here again, and we have got three juices from Vapor Shark. Yes, Vapor Shark, well renowned for their mods, but they also do juices too. Um, now, it comes from the USA, um, and they are very, very keen on producing their liquid safely. They have been tested for hidden nasties, acetyl, etc., and they have come back clean. They're uh, manufactured in a laboratory. It's well worth checking out their uh, website, vapeshop.com, um, because they've got a whole bit about the laboratory that they created in. Um, been creating liquid since 2010. Um, they uh, stick uh, strict quality control measures are taken when creating, mixing, dispensing, and labeling each and every bottle of e liquid. Uh, they don't have any um, sweeteners, caffeine, or coloring in their liquids either. Um, uh, and it's uh, a class six ISO standard laboratory that they create them in as well. So, very, very good to hear. Um, all USP grade ingredients as well, USP grade nicotine, VGPG. I'm not sure of the VGPG ratio. I'm pretty sure it's 50 50. Um, it seems like a 50 50 blend, but I can't find that anyway. So, they're very, very keen on creating liquids and doing it all safely, etc. But uh, they don't let us know what their VGPG ratio is. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to be looking at first of all then is Trixie. Uh, so, if we have a quick look at the bottle, and we're only going to look at this one bottle because they're all the same. All the bottles are exactly the same. The only difference is the name on there. So, a quick look at the bottle there. There we go Vapor Shark Premium E Liquid Trixie. Got a barcode, four milligrams this sample is. That's the 30 ml bottle. Childproof caps on there. Uh, it has ingredients on the bottom. Um, there's no tattoo triangle on it anywhere. And a slight warning on there as well. Bear in mind, these come direct from Vape Shock, so they are not going to be CLP compliant. Okay, so the first one we are going to be looking at is Pixie. So uh, let's just read a little bit about its flavor profile. Take a refreshing dive into a tank of sugary strawberry powder with Vape Shock's newest flavor. Instead of opening packs of Pixie sticks and emptying its contents into your mouth, curb your next sugar craving with Trixie. It will surely do the trick. Okay, so. We don't really have that in the UK, but I'm presuming it's like a sherbety, strawberry sherbet flavour. Um, like I said, I'm not sure of the VGPG ratio, but looking at the consistency of the liquid in the bottle, it's about 50-50. So we're going to be doing this in a uh, K-Fun at uh, 1.7 ohms, 12.5 watts. Yeah, it's a very sugary, sugary strawberry taste. Maybe a slight edge of sherbetiness in there. Is there a little bit of fizz in there? It's definitely very sweet, very sugary, very strawberry. Let's try and a drip it in. 21.5 watts. 0.6 ohm build. Yeah, very sweet uh, strawberry flavour. Okay, let's bump it up to 40 watts and let's see what 40 watts brings us. There is a very slight fizz in there, like a sherbetty fizz. So it's like a strawberry sherbet powder. Very sweet, very, very sweet. Good vape production, so I'm standing by, it's 50-50 blend. Pretty sure that's what it is. It would be nice if they put it on the bottles. It's not on their website either, which is strange. Um, not that I could see anyway, it's not in plain view, put it that way. Um, they have all the MSDS documents for you to look at, etc., but not the VGPG ratio. They do a huge range of nicotine strengths. Um, if we can just pull out some of the nicotine strength here that they do. Maybe it's going to come up. While we're doing that, we've got 60 watts as well. Yeah, um, definitely a slight bit of fizz in there. So they do all nicotine strengths from zero through to 24 milligrams. Yeah, definitely fizz in there at 60 watts. It's like a strawberry sherbet fizz. So if you like strawberry sherbets, 
Um, then Trixie from Vapor Shark. If I can pull out the bottle, there we go. Trixie from Vapor Shark. And let's see what's up next then. Okay, next up is Berry Crunch. Same labeling. Uh, so I don't really know you need to go into the labeling at all. Uh, now, Berry Crunch is described as immerse yourself in the fun flavors of your youth, the creamy smoothness of milk and the wholesome cereal goodness combined with tangy and exciting berries to instantly transport you back to a cartoon filled Saturday morning breakfast. It's so good. You can almost feel the crunch. So like I say, huge range in uh, nicotine strength, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. Uh, 18 and 24 milligrams, massive amount of nicotine strength you can get it in. Okay, so let's try out a K-Fun then to begin with, uh, 1.5 on build, 12 and a half watts. Yeah, um, getting a kind of milky cereal flavor comes in, not much berries. They're in there, there's a kind of fruity element to it, like a mixed berry fruit flavour. You've got that milkiness and you've got that cereal flavour behind it. Okay, let's try it on a dripper then. So 21, uh, 20 watts, uh, 0.70 build in this. So yeah, a bit of berries coming out now. Um, got a kind of milky, it's not the strongest milk background, but there's a milky background there and a syrupy, wheaty background as well. Yeah, it's definitely a cereal vape. Um, at these low watts, I wouldn't say it's the best one I've had, but we shall see that when we get to the other watts. 40 watts, to, uh, we'll try that now. See that, that cereal still there, uh, the milk still there. Not much berries, to be honest. There's not a lot of berries coming through. They're there, but they're just right in the background. It's more cereal and milk. Okay, not much throat to tea there, really. Let's go to 60 watts then. Okay, 60 watts, yep, still the same flavor profile. Um, like I say, not the most fruitful cereal vape I've had, but the cereal elements are there, the cereal flavor and also the um, the kind of milky background, although it's not the, the best milk background that I've tried for a cereal vape. But plenty of vape production. Uh, and a little bit of this milky aftertaste in the background. So that is a Berry Crunch from Vapor Shark. Let's see what's up next. So the final flavor then from this uh, review of the Vapor Shark liquids, loads more coming up uh, in future reviews. This one is Pinky, same labeling. And Pinky is described as, there's no junk here. In fact, the ingredients are list of our Pinky Ultra Premium e-liquid is pretty short. Strawberries and watermelons. That's it. It's bursting with bold fruit flavour that will wake you up, wake up your sleeping taste buds. Each breath of thick, sweet vapour will tantalise your tongue and make your mouth water for more. Okay, let's try it out in a caper then. Uh, 1.8 on bill, 12.5 watts. Okay, getting a kind of strawberry taste, very sweet strawberry taste, almost candy strawberry. And then in the background, there's a very subtle watermelon. Yeah, very subtle watermelon. It's very sweet, that's for sure. Okay, let's try it out in a drift then. 21.5 watts, 3.7 volts. Let's bring it 0.6 on build.
So a bit more watermelon comes out at low watts in this, still with that very sweet strawberry flavour. Yeah, it's just more strawberry than there's watermelon. The watermelon's in there, um, but it's just more strawberry than mine. Let's see what 40 watts brings us. Yeah, the watermelon's there, it's just in the background. Uh, predominantly this strawberry flavour. Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, it's it doesn't really float my boat if I'm honest. It's um, a lot of strawberry, not much watermelon there. It's very very sweet as well. Just pop a little bit more on the dripper there. They've got a huge range of liquids, and they also sell a lot of liquids from other companies as well. And they got all the liquids that they sell tested for diastol. So have a look on their website. Have a look at the liquids, and there's uh, uh, the reports there. So yeah, you've got that strawberry flavour, predominantly the strawberry, and then in the background there's the hints of that watermelon flavour. Quite candified, quite um, quite well. It's very sweet, actually, not quite sweet. So if you like your watermelon and strawberry vapors, then Pinky from Vapor Shark. So that's uh, three flavours done. Stay tuned for lots more Vapor Shark liquids being reviewed coming up. Uh, thank you to everybody subscribed. Please do so if you haven't. Vapor Shark e liquids, check them out.